here everyone watching on Palfinom and uh, we're finally back with a new build and I can't wait to show you guys this one. I um, think I got a pretty good deal on this new go-kart. Can't wait to show it to you. Um, it's been a while since I've actually made a uh, build video. Uh, so last time I made a video, I think, um, there wasn't any leaves on the trees and now the leaves have changed color. So it shows you how long it's been since I've uh, actually recorded a video. But I'm um, finally back with a new build. This is going to be just as big as the racing lore build. Uh, completely custom. I'm super excited for this. And uh, I'm going to stop talking and show you these guys this go kart. She's too heavy for me to push, so I'm going to use my Ranger. I uh, did not do a video on this. I probably will later. But yes, this is my 1996 Ford Ranger. And um, sitting behind this Yukon is my WRF. She is thick. I'd say that's pretty close. You guys have no idea how hard that was to push in here myself. Uh, so yeah, you saw in the first clip I used my Ranger to kind of drag it out. Um, and of course getting it in the garage I have to push it myself. But I made do with it. So this is the new build. So I paid 75 bucks for this go-kart, which I think is a insane deal. Um, this go-kart has been sitting for quite some time. Uh, I was told it was sitting for about eight years, and I will show you why back here. We come back to the engine. You can see it's like a, um, one of those standard like Chinese 429cc engines or something like, I don't know the species of it, but it's something like that. Um, the caliper, which is, here came off and uh, smacked the engine block, cracked the engine and uh, blew up the motor. So this motor is no good, but it's coming out anyway, even if it did run, uh, or regardless, it would be coming out anyway, because we are going to be putting something big in there. And I don't know what, but it's gonna be something big. Um, so yeah, the motor is no good. Um, this go-kart, it's, it's really solid actually. It's got the full cage and all that. This go-kart is really solid. Um, it's got some rust in some spots as you can see. Hopefully most of it is just service rust leaks. I can just flake the whole paint, all the paint off right there. Um, but this go-kart is getting stripped down completely down to the uh, bare chassis. Well, for the most part. Um, I don't know if I'm going to take apart the whole suspension, but I probably should anyway just to check all that. But um, just to, I am stripping it down. I am painting it uh, fresh. Because as you can see, the paint, you probably can't see it on camera very well, but it's very, very faded. And like I said, it's rusted in many spots. So um, it's getting stripped down. I am going to try and get all of the paint off. Maybe I can get the chassis sandblasted or something and uh, paint it fresh. I don't know if I'm going to paint it blue again, uh, but like I said, it does look better on camera, but in person, it's pretty rough. But I think for 75 bucks, a deal like this can't go wrong. Something also too, this go-kart has three wheel brakes. So it's got two in the front and then one in the back. Of course, the one in the back we know is junk because it came off and smacked the side of the engine, which caused the engine to fail. But the two front brakes, I'm not too sure if those work or not, but if they do work, um, I'd be, I, I'd def that'd definitely be a uh, big plus if I can get those two front brakes to work. The uh, brake pedal here is seized. That does not move. Uh, here's the master cylinder for it. Um, it is seized. I can probably get it unstuck. But um, the main question is whether or not the master cylinder is even still good or not. And uh, I may just end up buying a whole new master cylinder and, you know, redoing all the brake lines. I'm going to be doing that anyway, redoing all new brake lines. Um, and while I'm at it, I may as well just get a new master cylinder because I'm right there. Um, but yeah, this whole go-kart is getting stripped down. I don't know what motor I'm going to put in yet. I'm not pulling the motor yet because uh, what I want to focus on is getting all of this out. The seats are demolished. Like, uh, I did wash this go-kart when I first got it. This was disgusting. I am pulling these seats out. I got to get new seats. These seats are, they're junk. Uh, there's mold everywhere in them. There was a leaf growing out of that one. Uh, they're, they're, they're disgusting. There's probably like 20,000 different things living in them. And overall, they're just really faded, they're rough, they're ripped in several spots. 
So uh, the seats are gonna get pulled out and uh, what seats I'm gonna put in, I have no idea. Uh, I'll figure something out, what seats I'll get, who knows. I, these honestly just look like car seats. Uh, maybe I can find like a, uh, like a racing seat, like a turkey seat or something like that and throw it in the go-kart and uh, that would look cool for sure. Anyway, like I said, what I do want to get accomplished, at least in this video, is just start taking apart some of the miscellaneous things, like all this wiring. I'm going to pull the battery out. Uh, I doubt that battery's any good anyway, so it's probably just going to get, like, I'll, I'll try and charge it, but then again, it's been in there for eight years, so I, I probably just going to get thrown out anyway. Or if not, maybe I can try and trade it in. Uh, it's got these two levers here. I'm not sure what they're for. That one moves freely, but that one works well and it comes down so maybe maybe um if i can get that to work right maybe if we can have like some kind of drift system or some kind of e-brake system going on with this go-kart i'm not too sure but anyway like i said i'm going to try and strip down some of the most basic stuff uh all the wiring uh and uh, some other miscellaneous things pull the battery out uh if i have time i'll try and pull the seats out uh i'd imagine it's probably not hard to pull them out anyway uh pull the whole roll cage off and um, anyway, yeah, let's get started. Wow. So that is the aftermath of all the wires taken out of this thing. So um, it, people are probably going to complain like, oh my God, why did you cut all these wires out? Why did you take it all out? You could have reused some of it. Well, uh, I'm not going to be reusing any of it. 90% uh, of it is junk. All the prongs are junk. Um, I'm not reusing those lights. Uh, I'm not reusing those front lights either. Those front lights don't even work. Uh, and I doubt the rear ones do either. So um, uh, it's going to get all new lights anyway. Uh, it's it's going to have that motor taken out. So I don't need any of that stuff. Uh, that motor's blown up, like I said uh, earlier in the video. So um, it's it's all going to be redone by me. So all of that is not needed. That battery is killed, um, and it was kind of a bit of a hassle to get all this wiring out, just because it was it was quite literally everywhere. This this thing is quite literally wired up like a streetcar. But uh, anyway, what I want to start taking apart now is just some of the miscellaneous things. I'm going to start uh, see if I can get these switches out i'm going to try and pull the seats out now and um take off one of those handbrakes as well and uh, maybe while i'm at it pull the master cylinder as well uh anyway yeah, let's keep on working driver's side seat is out and i'm realizing this is actually really solid um so thankfully there's no rust repair that's gonna have to be done on this but uh, regardless i'm still stripping it down for paint of course uh, as you can see this all this paint just as you can see all this paint just flakes right off it's made a mess everywhere uh down here you can't really see it but it is a mess down there uh it's it's just everywhere uh I moved the seats outside. Here's the seat. Uh, it's all junk and all that. I just threw it in the corner. I'm gonna get rid of it. It's no good. Uh, the whole back of it is all chewed up to bits by just, you know, wraps and all that, you know, weathering. And uh, the whole mounting system is completely rotted out too on one side, so it's no good. All right, anyway, uh, I'm gonna take off the second seat now. And uh, with that, I can also take off uh, the seat belt as well. I'm not even going to bother recording taking off the second seat because it's essentially the same as taking off the uh, first one. It's two bolts and uh, um, one bolt in the back and one bolt on the side for the seat belt. And then, uh, like I said, the four bolts underneath um, that hold the seat on the frame itself. All right, so both seats and seat belts, they're over there, are out of the cart. Um, the setup on this side was different from that side, which 
I don't know why it was, but it just was. It is what it is. Um, I just threw those seats out. They were destroyed. The passenger side one literally had a leaf growing through it. Disgusting. And when I took it out, it like leaked some red brown fluid. I don't know what it was. Uh, but um, I put that rag there to kind of soak it up. The whole chassis is just a train wreck. Uh, I already gave it a wash. I'm probably off camera just going to wash it a second time just to get all this garbage out. All of it came from the seats essentially. So I doubt that's going to happen again. Um, especially since the seats I'm getting will be brand new. But uh, I want to rinse the whole chassis off again uh, just so it's clean again and not as dirty again. But, uh, yeah, I'd say pretty good day. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I opened up an Instagram. It's called The Phenomenal Garage. Same as the channel. Go check that out. Um, I did open it pretty recently, uh, just about like a month ago or something like that. Uh, I'm going to be posting updates on the build and uh, some of my other projects I do outside of YouTube, some of my friends' builds, and just general hobbies and activities that I do outside of YouTube. Um, just stuff that I'm going to be posting there. It's called The Phenomenal Garage. I'm going to post the link uh, in the description in the video. Uh, so if you guys want to go check that out. As far as the go-kart goes, uh, in the next video, I'm going to attempt to drop that whole rear subframe out and uh, pull the motor out as well. So um, I may need a friend over to help me out with that because it's pretty beefy, I'll say that. <laughs> but um, I should be able to figure it out. You know, I'll always figure it out. So... Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for the next one.